Uh, let's talk about process. Uh, I believe the Speaker of the House announced today some deadlines. Um, how does how do those deadlines affect the activity at the legislature? What what's going to be happening in the next weeks, pointing towards eventual uh, departure from St. Paul? Sir, well, you represent back. well, the the deadlines are pretty much the same as they've always been uh, set. At the same times, we have to be out of here by uh, the you know after the third week in May. I mean, it, they always kind of fall down about the same time. Um, but the issue is uh, we're waiting for the February forecast to come out. We're also waiting for the governor's budget to come out. So right now we're uh, doing some things that we can do, like the uh, tax conformity bill. Uh, there's a flood uh, relief bill, a flood disaster bill that we're going to be doing. Uh, that went through Ways and Means last night, and uh, that's going to be progressing next week uh, in the Minnesota House. We're trying to get some of those things done that have to get done. Uh, but we can't do a lot right now. Uh, so you'll see a lot of the... Uh, uh, committees having informational hearings, uh, doing uh, department overviews, those kinds of things right now. There's not a lot of bills that are being heard. Um, so those are, are the things that are happening right now until we see what the governor's budget is going to be and until we get that February forecast. Senator Dino, process, deadlines in the Senate? Yeah, it, it, I think the first deadline was March 24th, and then second deadline was about a week later, and third deadline was it. And it, all that is is you've got to get through your first committee in one of the houses, and then you've got to get through all your committees, and et cetera. That's what those deadlines are. Um, they're, they're not really hard deadlines. There's always ways around. Um, but, but that's kind of what we set for expectations as far as getting bills to move through the process. Uh, and uh, Representative Hackbarth is exactly right. We, we really can't dig down deep into setting the budget until we get the February forecast because that is, right now all we have is estimates, and the February forecast is going to be the set in stone number that we use for creating the budget. So once that comes out, the governor's budget comes out on Tuesday, um, at, but once the February forecast comes out, then we'll know what the governor's priorities are and we'll know what the final number is that we have to deal with for a budget. And then we can really actually get into passing and working on these major budget provisions. Uh, and HHS and uh, K-12 are about two-thirds of the whole budget, so that's a big chunk uh, of where we'll be spending the money. Health and Human Services, HHS.